Good morning, parents. Good morning, students. It is Friday. We made it again to another Friday. It is April the 3rd, Friday morning. I hope everyone's having a great day today. You did a very good job, all very good job this week. Parents, I want to thank all of you for doing such a tremendous job uploading the assignments through RenWeb. Uh, I've been reviewing them as fast as I can, they, uh, and I'm very impressed with the work, the quality of your work the students are doing. So please continue to upload them as uh, at your earliest convenience, and make sure that you uh, label them with a heading so that I uh, it's easier for me to organize them when I download them myself. And then I I'll, what I do is I download them, put them in your child's folder, and then I go back and go and review them and assess them. So again, thank you, and please remember to send all documents, any document that you have, uh, please send it through the Ren RenWeb uh, homework drop. That's working very well, so thank you so much. So we have uh, this week, uh, here's a little quote, you will never have this day again, so make it count. So for math today, uh, group D, you have 17.1 perimeter very very easy unit this one we may move a little quicker next week with perimeter because this is more like a review for them of uh, the other students you're taking unit 2 test this is a test that's on RenWeb if you go to math and look at documents you will see this one it's unit 2 and they print it out and complete them and send them to me upload them at your earliest convenience so that's today. They've been doing a very good job. So don't forget this one. This is Group D only. We're looking at our language arts activity. This is day two. Thank you so much for the concept maps, the little paper uh, slides that children made yesterday and the day before, or I'm sorry, yesterday. And I received several PowerPoints that were done. Some students took the initiative and took those slides and transferred them over to PowerPoints, parents and when I talk about slides we're talking about the squares when we make the folds and the students know that we refer to those as slides the congruent squares where they draw the pictures and they do a little summer in the bottom those turned out very good it's so good to see the drawings again it's been a long time since I've seen artwork from the students and uh, I can't wait to see these videos next week I want to see how creative they are take your time focus on what you're doing take some scenes from the book present them the best way you can don't stress too much over it this is our first time that we're doing this at home so parents feel free to participate and uh, let me know if you have any questions so please work on that today do some planning practicing anything that you need to do use this time wisely the chat the explanations are there too of course we have our dear time continue dealing with that's very important they still read it's very it doesn't have to be something that's assigned to them it can be anything that they want continue uh, working outside it's it's probably gonna be raining but if you can't go to go noodle there's activities for them to do this is your journal for today students you're gonna write about this is what makes me feel happy this is what makes I'm sorry makes me feel happy so be sure to include super sentences with detailed imagery, figurative language, correct grammar to develop your thoughts, ideas, and experiences. What has been uh, uploaded and turned in are looking very good. The writing is very good. And I'm so glad to hear students telling their parents that they have to do the five paragraphs. That that's what a composition is supposed to look like. It's supposed to have an introduction, a body, and a conclusion. That's very good. I see everything that's being indented. So uh, it's working. It's working. Good job, students. We do have science and social studies today. You have the science IXL construct animal life cycle diagram. It's there for you on IXL. You do have a social studies today on ReadWorks. One thing with ReadWorks that I noticed from Monday's assignment, some of the students are not pressing submit when they answer a question or when they're done with the quiz. I'm getting some of them that say not submitted. So be sure you submit your responses and it's about the US presidents William H Harrison and John Tyler so that concludes our daily events we're gonna start adjusting this uh, next week so that your language arts assignments your writing assignments 
are more opportunities for the children to express themselves and uh, we'll be assigning more culturally relevant books so they can do the transactional writings the transactional pieces the connections that the students wrote and were uploaded the, uh, yesterday were very good. I was very happy to see that they're making connections to the stories that they're reading. So that's very important. So if there's any issues, again, that you have, please let me know. If you have any questions over the language arts, the video project, please let me know. I'll be more than happy to guide you or answer any questions that you may have. I hope these, are, these daily schedule reviews are hoping. Please send me some feedback if there's anything that you think that I need to adjust or change or or you just have ideas to help me improve it. Um, my door is always open. Well, thank you so much for your time. This is Mr. Lopez wishing everyone a happy Friday.